Cloud security, what is it? Why is it important? And why are cloud security jobs the most in-demand roles in tech right now? I've got my own cloud security business and we help startups and businesses around the world secure their cloud environments. Now, if you're not paying attention to cloud security, then you are going to get left behind. And I'm here to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. The world is moving to the cloud at an insane pace. It's like a gold rush and everyone wants a piece of the action. In fact, by 2028, if businesses are not using cloud technology, it's very likely that they will no longer exist. But here is the thing, with great power comes great responsibility. And when it comes to the cloud, that responsibility is all about keeping your data and applications safe from the bad guys. You might be thinking, but Suleiman, I'm just a beginner. Do I really need to worry about cloud security? Now, the answer is a resounding yes. It doesn't matter if you're a solo developer or a big enterprise. If you're using the cloud, you need to prioritize security. The reality is that the cloud is a whole different world compared to traditional IT environments. You've got data flying around everywhere people accessing resources from all over the world, and a ton of moving parts to keep track of. It's like trying to secure a massive, complex puzzle with pieces that are constantly changing. But don't let that scare you off. The key is to educate yourself and stay vigilant. You need to understand the common threats, the best practices, and the tools at your disposal to keep your cloud environment locked down tight. And that's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. I'm going to break down cloud security in a way that even a complete noob can understand. We'll talk about the shared responsibility model, the different layers of security, best practices, and practical steps that you can take to secure your cloud setup. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more helping you get started with the cloud. When you're working in the cloud, you are part of a larger ecosystem. A single weak link can have effects that impacts everyone. That's why it's crucial for every cloud professional to prioritize security and work together to create a safer cloud environment for everyone. Remember, the cloud is the future and security is a non-negotiable. You can either learn to secure it now or get left in the dust. The choice is is yours. Before you learn about cloud security, you need to understand what cloud engineering and cloud computing is. So let's go over it. Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services over the internet. We're talking about things like servers, storage, databases, software, and more. Instead of having all of this stuff on your own computer or in your own data center, it's all hosted remotely and accessed through the web. Now, cloud computing has some key characteristics that make it a complete game changer. The cloud is on-demand self-service, where you can spin up cloud resources whenever you need them without having to go through a bunch of red tape. It's like having a vending machine for computing power. Cloud gives you a broad network access that you can access your cloud resources from anywhere with just an internet connection. Whether you're on your phone, a tablet, or a computer, the cloud is always within your reach. And finally, rapid elasticity. With the cloud, this means you can scale up or down instantly based on your needs. If you suddenly get a surge of traffic, the cloud can handle it without breaking a sweat. Now, when it comes to cloud service models, there are three main parts. Infrastructure as a service, this is when you rent the basic building blocks of computing, like virtual machines and storage. You have a lot of control, but you also have to manage a lot of the underlying infrastructure. Then we also have a platform as a service. With platform as a service, you get pre-configured environments for developing, testing, and deploying your applications. You don't have to worry about the underlying infrastructure. You can focus on writing code for your applications. And then we have software as a service. This is where you use software that's hosted and managed by the cloud provider. Think of things like email, office suites, and customer relationship management tools, also known 
a CRM. Finally, let's talk about cloud deployment models. We have public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, and also multi-cloud. Public cloud is where you use a cloud provider's infrastructure and your resources are shared with other customers. It's like living in an apartment complex. Private cloud is where you have dedicated resources that are only used by your business or your organization. This is like having your own house. Hybrid cloud has a mix of public and private clouds where you can move your workloads between them as needed. It's like having a vacation home in addition to your primary residence in your usual location. And finally, multi-cloud. This is where you use multiple cloud providers for different services. This is like having a diverse investment portfolio. So there you have it the basics of cloud computing. It's definitely complex, but understanding these fundamentals is crucial if you wanna succeed in the cloud and cloud security. So what is cloud security? Now picture this, you've got your data, your applications, and your infrastructure all running smoothly in the cloud. Life is good, right? <laughs> but then disaster strikes. A hacker finds a way to steal your data and takes down your services. Suddenly your business is in shambles and you've left wondering what went wrong. That's where cloud security comes in. It's the armor that protects your assets in the cloud, keeping the bad guys out and ensuring that your business can thrive without any interruption. At its core, cloud security is all about safeguarding your data, your applications, and your infrastructure from unauthorized access, theft, and damage. It's about maintaining the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of your resources in the face of the constant evolving threats. But here is the thing, cloud security isn't just the responsibility of your cloud provider. It's a shared responsibility model, which means that both you and your provider like AWS have a role to play. Your cloud provider is responsible for securing the underlying infrastructure, like the physical data centers, the network, and the virtualization layer. They make sure that the foundation is solid and that the basic security measures are in place. But you, as the customer are responsible for securing everything you put on top of that infrastructure. This includes your operating system, your applications, and your data. You need to make sure that you are configuring your resources properly, managing access controls, and staying on top of patches and updates. So what are the key aspects of cloud security that you need to focus on? Let's break it down. Firstly, we have data protection. This is about keeping your data safe from any prying eyes and ensuring that your data is always available when you need it. Encryption, backup, and disaster recovery are all crucial components of data protection. Next, we have access control and identity management. You need to be able to control who has access to your resources and what they can do with them. This means implementing strong authentication, authorization, and identity management practices. Let's talk about network security because your cloud resources are only as secure as the network that they're running on. You need to make sure that your network is properly segmented, the traffic is filtered and monitored, and that you have defenses in place against common attacks like DDoS. We can't talk about cloud protection and cloud security without compliance and regulatory requirements. Depending on your industry and location, you may be subject to various regulations and standards, such as HIPAA, PCI DSS, or GDPR. You need to ensure that your cloud environment is compliant with these requirements and that you have the necessary controls in place. Now, no matter how strong your defenses are, there's always a chance that something could go wrong. That's why you need to have a plan in place for detecting, responding to, and recovering from security incidents and disasters. Now, I know this all sounds like a lot to take in, but do not worry, because you don't have to go at it alone. There are plenty of tools, best practices, and partners out there that can help and secure your cloud environment, including my company, Solcurity. The key is to prioritize security from the start and to make it an integral part of your cloud strategy. And that's why at my company, Solcurity, we help businesses secure their cloud environments and keep their applications, data, and customers safe. All right, so now that we know what cloud computing, cloud security, and some of the key aspects are, but what are some of the cloud security threats and challenges that we 
and businesses all need to be aware of. First up, we've got data breaches and unauthorized access. This is the stuff of nightmares. Imagine waking up one morning to find out that your sensitive data has been stolen and splashed all over the dark web. It's not a pretty picture, but it's the reality that far too many organizations have had to face. Next, we've got insecure APIs and interfaces. These are like the back doors into your cloud environment. If they're not properly secured, hackers can walk right in and create absolute havoc. Think of it as leaving your front door wide open and then being surprised when someone comes in and robs your house. But here is the thing. Sometimes the biggest threat to your cloud security isn't some random hacker on the internet. It's actually the people within your organization. Misconfiguration and human error are responsible for a staggering number of security breaches. One wrong click, one misconfigured setting, and suddenly your data is out there for the world to see. In fact, I follow this Twitter page and they always share data breaches that are happening live around the world. And you'll be surprised how many breaches are happening every single day. And let's not forget about insider threats. These are the people who have legitimate access to your systems, but use that access for really bad purposes. It could be a disgruntled employee looking to cause damage or even a malicious actor who's managed to infiltrate your ranks. Either way, insider threat can be incredibly difficult to detect and to prevent. But wait, <laughs> there's actually more. Denial of service, also known as DOS attacks. These are like the schoolyard bullies of the cloud world. They flood your systems with so much traffic that you grind to a halt, leaving your legitimate users out in the cold. It's a frustrating and costly problem that can be tough to defend against. And if you really wanna lose sleep at night, let me introduce to you to advanced persistent threats, also known as APTs. These are the elite hackers, the ones who are in it for the long haul. They quietly infiltrate your systems, establish a foothold, and then slowly pull your data over time. And by the time that you realize what's happening, it's often too late. Now with the right tools, strategies, and mindset, you can fight back and keep your cloud environment safe and secure. It's not going to be easy and it's not going to be a one-time thing. Cloud security is an ongoing battle, a never-ending game of cat and mouse between the good guys and the bad guys. But with vigilance, determination, and a healthy dose of paranoia, you can stay one step ahead of the threats and keep your data and applications out of harm's way. All right, so you've heard about all the nasty threats and challenges that come within the cloud. It's enough to make you want to unplug your router and then just go live in a cave. But before you do that, let me give you some good news. There are plenty of best practices and solutions that can help keep your cloud environment locked down. And I'm going to share some of those best practices with you. So first and foremost, you need to implement strong access controls and identity management. This is like having a bouncer at an exclusive nightclub. If you're not on the list, you are not getting in. Make sure you're using MFA to add an extra layer of security beyond just passwords. You also want to implement role-based access control to ensure that users only have access to the resources that they need to do their jobs. Always follow the least privileged principle. Give users the minimum level of access required and not a single bit more. Next, encryption. Encryption is your best friend. Encrypting data at rest and in transit is like putting your sensitive information in a high tech safe. Even if the bad guys get their hands on it, they won't be able to read it without the key. So make sure you are using strong encryption methods and managing your keys securely. Now let's talk about network security. You need to make sure that your network is segmented and secured. You can use VPNs to create secure tunnels for remote access. You can implement network segmentation and micro segmentation to create smaller and more manageable security zones. It's like putting up walls and checkpoints through your network to keep the bad guys out of your cloud environment. But security isn't just about keeping the bad guys out. It's about keeping a watchful eye on what's happening inside of your cloud environment. And this is where monitoring and logging come into the picture. Implement centralized logging and monitoring to keep track of all of your activity in your cloud. You can also use security information and event management tools to analyze logs and detect potential threats. 
And don't forget about intrusion detection and prevention systems, IDPS. These are like your personal security guards constantly watching for suspicious activities and sounding the alarm when something looks a little bit fishy. Now, of course, even the best security tools are useless if they're not kept up to date. That's why patch management and vulnerability scanning are so crucial. Make sure you're patching your systems and applications to close any known security holes. Always do this automatically and conduct regular vulnerability scans to identify any weaknesses before the bad guys can come in and exploit them. But here is the thing. Security isn't just about technology. It's about people. That's why you need employee training and awareness because that's so important. You wanna make sure your employees know how to spot phishing, create strong passwords, and handle sensitive data securely. A well-informed workplace is your first line of defense against any sort of hacks. So there you have it, the best practices and solutions to keep your cloud environment secure. It's not going to be easy and it's going to require constant vigilance and efforts. But with the right tools, strategies, and mindset and a right partner, aka Soul Security, you can make sure your cloud environment is secure. And there you have it. You know what cloud computing is, cloud security is, the best practices, common threads, and what to do with the threads. Now, it's not going to be easy. You need to constantly learn, constantly evolve, and constantly train your employees. But if you need any help, reach out to Soul security like the video subscribe if you haven't already and book a call with soul security if you are a business requiring any sort of cloud security and i'll see you guys on the next video